Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. I'm so happy to see you here today. I do hope that you are doing great. And in this video, we are going to discuss the mineral zinc. Well, zinc is, I would say it's one of the major minerals out there. I'm always talking that magnesium is extremely important, but zinc is also on the list. The severe zinc deficiency, although is not really common in developed countries, but you are, you really might be uh, deficient in zinc and that might trigger some of the symptoms that are alerting you to take, you know, to pay some attention to it. But basically, you do not need a great amount of zinc on a daily basis, although you do need to replace it on a daily basis because as um, water-soluble vitamins, it is not stored in your body. But uh, honestly, zinc is a trace mineral and you need uh, just a small amounts, you know, for your body to do its best. So technically, zinc is very important for hormone balance, for your beautiful skin, for the growth, especially child's growth, for the gut health, proper immune function, mental clarity, also cuts and wounds, healing even internal wounds. It is also important for the uh, metabolism of food and the proper absorption of all the nutrients. I think I also forgot to mention the hair growth. And believe it or not, your adequate taste or smell also depends on the zinc. So now let's talk about the symptoms that might really uh, be telling you that you might have a mild uh, zinc deficiency even. So if you see that you really have one or more symptoms uh, that I'm going to tell you um, just in a second, you probably need to you know, consider it and go see your doctor and um, talk to him about a possible uh, zinc deficiency. So I said that zinc is important for the mental clarity, so if you are thinking that you are not, you know, it's hard for you to concentrate, you have a poor memory, you do not have that mental alertness, so that's one of the symptoms. I also said that it's extremely important for you for your immune system, so if you are getting sick, uh, you know, all the time, like almost, you know, for no reason, you're constantly getting uh, cold, that might be another reason. I also said that it is great for your skin and hair growth, so if you are losing hair and if you have blisters on, you know, skin or scalp, even some people are suffering from acne if they're zinc deficient. If you are feeling uh, that you always have some sort of like brain fog, pay attention to that as well. Loss of appetite, uh, slow wound healing, and even those white blisters on your nails uh, might be another signal of zinc deficiency. Earache, diarrhea, um, loss of appetite, loss of taste or smell, and low libido also could be a, uh, the sign of your zinc deficiency. It is very, very important to remember that pregnant and lactating women, they do need a higher amount of zinc on a daily basis because the developing feeders and then the, uh, the breastfed child, they really need uh, to get this zinc for the proper growth and development. Um, all the vitamins, they sort of work in um, some kind of great balance and if you are having um, a very high zinc or you are, you've increased zinc intake, your copper level will go down. So if you decided that you are, that you really need to um, make your zinc levels higher, make sure you always are taking some copper supplement on the side as well. I've seen many cases when um, zinc really helped people to, um, you know, to it helps them with uh, allergies, it helps them with uh, different uh, skin disorders, even the acne. It also helps them with uh, warts, for instance. And um, I also know it definitely boosts your immune system. So people sometimes who used to get really, um, you know, crazy amounts of cold, it really helped them out. And you don't need to be on a zinc supplement uh, if you are taking it, if you, if you really need to. You, you're not, you don't need to be on it like for the whole life. You just take it for like 60 or 90 days until your symptoms are really go away and you feel better and of course every time you really think that you need this or that mineral or vitamin uh, getting into your diet try to get it with food because even though there is so many fortified uh, foods right now and uh, sometimes you see and you like sort of like oh relieved because oh, okay I'm gonna get vitamin D here and this this and that and folic acid and oh there is zinc there as well I wouldn't be relieved because there is no guarantee that it is uh, getting properly absorbed by your body I would just uh, try to eat real food that has this or that vitamin. And zinc um, is destroyed in processed foods and you need to keep that in mind. There are other factors um, that might influence, you know, um, the zinc absorption in your body, if, like say alcohol or coffee. And uh, if you are taking zinc supplement, make sure you do not take it uh, together with coffee, you know, or right after you got a cup of coffee and together with the alcohol. Try to really spare this, like do this two hours before, two hours after. 
I've also, um, of course I'm not a doctor, but I know that uh, people with diabetes should be uh, really cautious about taking a zinc supplement because it might really lower their blood sugar levels. Now let's really see what uh, food has uh, zinc in it. Well, I'm pretty sure everybody knows about pumpkin seeds, right? But I'm not a huge fan and I really don't see myself eating pumpkin seed on a daily basis. I am not a fan of uh, beef products as well, so I need to find some other um, food choices here and thank God there are a lot. My favorite uh, zinc food choices are cashews, mushrooms, chickpeas, and even tahini has uh, lots of zinc in it. I love getting it from, uh, get, getting zinc from mushrooms, let's say spinach, also yogurt or kefir. You're gonna love to hear probably the chocolate or you know raw cocoa powder has zinc in it as well. But of course, uh, liver and grass-fed beef um, has um, really a huge amount of zinc. Besides chicken and lamb, also goes on that list. I forgot to mention that beans also will give you some zinc and if we're talking about chicken meat it should be dark meat and if we're talking about chocolate it definitely is supposed to be dark chocolate. And I've got even some more options like eggs, like wheat germ, brewer's yeast also has zinc in it. You just need to make sure that you do not exceed the recommended uh, uh, dosage of 100 milligrams of uh, zinc a day and some people might get sick stomach when they uh, when they're taking zinc so make sure you always take it after a meal. As I've said if you're taking uh, zinc supplement for a prolonged time or you're taking too much it might really deplete your copper levels and this um, in the end may, um, may cause the anemia. Another thing I need to mention here is that um, the proper zinc um, absorption requires an enzyme called picolinate, so there is zinc picolinate available. It is really one of the best options. Also, any mineral which is in chelated form, zinc, chelated zinc is the best option um, for you as well. So zinc is actually a vital nutrient that your body needs for like thousands of reasons. And in children, it can really promote growth and um, sort of like increase the mental alertness. It can also decrease your cholesterol levels, by the way. And if you uh, would like, you know, some people really see the acne improvement. Some people really like it because it improves your appetite, especially can you improve the children's appetite and uh, even um, sort of improve the taste. Well, I've just mentioned that zinc, uh, chelated zinc is the best option for you to get, but also zinc sulfate or zinc gluconate are also available. And the latter, the zinc gluconate is uh, um, like easy, more, like more easily tolerated. So I guess this is everything I can uh, share with you about zinc. And I do hope this video was somehow informative and helpful so now you know practically everything about zinc especially you know the symptoms the zinc deficiency symptoms so you could definitely go through those and see if you might be um, zinc deficient and that will really should you know have you moving uh, see a doctor and finalize if you could somehow improve your condition and if you do think that you might be zinc deficient, try first to improve your diet, uh, including more food that is rich in zinc. And then, you know, probably you will need to have a supplement, but, you know, never start first with that. So I really want to thank you guys for your attention and thank you for watching this video. I wish you to stay very healthy and happy as always. I really wish you that from the bottom of my heart and if you like this video please do put the thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you later